Welcome to another edition of That Time When. I am Matt Miller. This is Trek Zone's Studio 4. It's the podcast where we take you through the archive here at Trek Zone. This is Trek Zone's That Time When. And you can get exclusive behind the scenes info and first play access to all Trek Zone podcasts by becoming a member today. Click join on every Trek Zone video on YouTube. Go to the trek.zone slash support or scan the QR code on screen throughout the show. Now it's back to you, Matt. Well, that opener really has a little bit of extra special meaning now that um, Spike's no longer with us. 11 years on, buddy. Enjoy what's next. All right, well, let's move on to what today's show is all about. Star Trek 365, at least Sargent's project a couple of years ago of drawing a Star Trek image every day for the entire year. It's the inspiration for 2021 on Trek Zone with uh, over 300 podcasts. Uh, he did 365. Let's hear from him now. Hi, I'm Lee Sargent, and this is my Trek Zone conversation. Lee, thanks so much for your time, man, for the very first episode of a Trek Zone conversation. Oh, this is really exciting. I'm really happy to be part of it. Now, we're next to a road, but we're at a cafe. Which uh, is closing. So, which is, <laughs> so we're, we're going to squeeze this one in and talk about a, a very special event that's happening uh, right now. Tell us a little bit about what today is for you. Today is, well, today is the 250th day of this year, which means it's the 250th Star Trek scribble uh, of the Star Trek 365 project. Um, this Star Trek 365 project is a project that I'm doing a an original drawing every day based around Star Trek. Uh, and so, yeah, it, and every day for this whole year. And this is a bit of a milestone. This is a, it's been a, it's been a long slog to get to here. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So we caught up in February and yep. uh, you weren't quite sure whether you were going to make it, whether you were going to stick it out, but you have and you've gotten to 250. What's it's, it, what's it, it feeling like? It's really, yeah, it's good. It's great. Um, it's, it's been an interesting journey this time uh, because, as I s- said, I've done it before uh, a couple of years ago. Uh, and this time, it, there's there's a lot more people along for the ride, uh, which is <laughs> awesome. Um, and it, that's kind of really fun. But you are, of course, uh, under a little bit more scrutiny and you do... And, you, you know, you want to perform too. So you wind up putting uh, probably that little extra effort in. Uh, these are daily scribbles. So uh, a lot of people might be seeing this for the very first time and they kind of they judge you on that very first one and it's like yeah but I've done 249 of these (laughs) Uh, so some of them aren't going to be winners guys Uh, and that's just the reality of it Uh, you know some of them will be I'll be tired and so it will be you know I haven't quite got to a a pencil sketch of Spock on a napkin yet Um, but you know it's coming I'm sure it could be coming oh yeah it's coming the very first one I I wound up doing one of those Uh, there was a drunken uh, there was a drunken uh, Sharpie sketch of Spock on, I think it was on a napkin, actually, uh, that at a Christmas party. So wow. I got right through and then, um, yeah, Christmas party, and I went, oh, my God, I've got to do this drawing and I've got to get it up online. And um, that's the danger of, of letting it catch up and doing it. Oh, cutting edge. I think there was a point there where you were releasing them a little bit late at night. Is, oh, yes. is this around? Is this yes. around that time? No, no. Um, it was getting yeah, closer and closer to it midnight. It was getting very close to midnight. <laughs> the closest I've come to midnight is about, oh, I think it was five minutes. So eleven fifty-five one night. I know, and I know that one, uh, and that was uh, that was ridiculous because yeah, I actually literally sat down and started painting at eleven o'clock, <laughs> and then you've got to scan it in, you've got to put it up on the on the thing, and it's just uh, yeah, it was, and I think even. And the internet was running a bit slow that night and I was like, yeah. this is crazy. Don't do this again. So now I like to I like to be done the at least the day before. Uh, but I like to actually be done a couple of days ahead. Like I always like to give myself a bit of, but it's just not practical sometimes, particularly with more elaborate pieces. Mm. Uh, so today's obviously is going to be uh, so all on all the milestone issues, uh, episodes or, or days, I guess. Um, I've been trying to do a bigger A3, and normally they're A4 size, and I've been trying to do a bigger A3, more details and stuff on the on the, the celebratory days. 
Um, Putting a bit more effort in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just taking a bit more time, like spreading it out over a couple of days beforehand. Uh, so I've, I've done the crew of the Enterprise, you know, the, the Enterprise a couple of times. Um, 50 tribbles for the first one and stuff <laughs> like that. And I've tried to cover off each of the series. And, and today, of course, uh, I've, the last one was Enterprise, was Enterprise. And so, of course, this one is now Discovery. Fantastic. And that's been the, the biggest challenge for this was the, the different format of Discovery. Um, like we're used to the family, uh, you know, it's very obvious who the family are in all the different shows. Um, so Deep Space Nine, even though you've got people who are, who are on the outer, you know, Garrick and 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 Quark and stuff like that, but they're still part of the family, black sheep possibly. And whereas Discovery, it's like, oh, <laughs> at what point during Discovery's first season do you go, how do I capture as much of the crew as possible? <laughs> and are they your family? And are they? And, and, and I just, I think at the end of the day, it's probably impossible. You just need to pick something from the, something that inspires you from the show and go. And I think I always knew that I'd have to, I wanted Michael and, and Giorgio to be central to it. So mm. getting a scene that had them in it. Um, and you could still be a bit elaborate with was was always paramount for me. Mm. Well, it's an absolutely fantastic drawing, and there are 250 of them now in the bank. Yes. As you alluded to, um, you are getting some feedback for yeah, these. Yep. Um, there has been a bit of criticism, though. Oh, look, a criticism, I mean, I guess... Uh, Criticism is probably maybe too hard a word. Um, probably observation is probably a better word to use. Um, certainly a couple of months ago, it was raised that there was a lot more uh, male-orientated pieces in the um, in the collection. And, you know, look, there's reasons for that, but it doesn't, at the end of the day, I think the very core of Star Trek is about representation. Um, I mean, that was always the most powerful aspect of Uhura being there. She may not have had a huge amount to do, but... She was there, and she was being she was representing a whole range of people, and so kind of taking that on board. I think that's probably the most important thing to do, and, and trying to to represent everyone as best you can is is really important. It's not easy every day, and I think um, it's very easy for someone to kind of um, criticise, you know, from a distance. Uh, but I think it's important to kind of try and keep it all in perspective. Well, a huge thanks to Lee for joining me for those uh, chats. He then moved states and we've continued doing talk and trek with him. Haven't heard from him in a little while. Once Prodigy's second season plays through, we should definitely check in with Lee once again. For now, though, I'm Matt Miller. I'll see you in the comments.